In this video, I'll show you how to cancel an unneeded task using the professional version of Microsoft Project. In the professional version of Microsoft Project, there's a very cool feature known as the Inactivate Task feature. You can use that feature to cancel unneeded tasks, and it's easy peasy to do that. So I'll show you how to use that feature. And if you stay with me to the end of the video, I'll also give you some bonus content. I'll show you why you should never, ever delete a baseline tasks. Believe me, you won't like the results. So let's get started. In this example project, please notice that the design, build, and test tasks are 100% complete. I have some really good news for you. When the test task was completed, the testing went so well that we no longer need the rebuild and retest tasks. Those tasks need to be canceled. So in the professional version of Microsoft Project, to cancel unneeded tasks, first select the tasks that you want to cancel. Then in the Schedule section of the Task ribbon, click the Inactivate button. Notice how Microsoft Project displays the canceled tasks. On the left side, notice that the Rebuild and Retest tasks are formatted with gray strike-through font formatting. In the Gantt chart screen on the right, notice that Microsoft Project changed the blue Gantt bars to white hollow Gantt bars. Also notice what Microsoft Project did to reschedule the implement task. The implement task is now scheduled to begin immediately after the test task. This is what I like to call an implied dependency relationship. Microsoft Project is implying that there is a finish to start dependency between the test task and the implement task. I'd also like to show you how Microsoft Project calculates variance when you cancel tasks. So let's take a look at the work table. You're going to see something really interesting here. For row 0 or task 0, the project summary task, which represents the entire project, by the way, Notice that the variance value is minus 80 hours, which means that this project is coming in 80 hours under budget on work. Where are those 80 hours coming from? It's real easy to see that it's from the two canceled tasks, where in canceling those two tasks, we also canceled 80 hours of planned work. All right, you stayed with me all the way to the end of the video. Thank you very much for that. As a bonus, let me show you why you should never, never, ever delete a baseline task in your project. So, for example, with the two tasks, Rebuild and Retest, what if we deleted them instead of canceling them, which is the recommended procedure? What happens if we delete them, which is what I recommend you never do? Well, let's try it. I'll go ahead and select them, right-click, Delete Task, now I'll need to link up test and implement. And you know what? The project looks okay to me. I don't see any problems. Is there a problem? Yes, there is. If I display the work table again, you're going to see that I have a bit of an explaining nightmare on my hands. Notice that the variance 
is negative 80 hours for the entire project, except all the numbers below it are zero. How in the world am I going to explain how this project has negative 80 hours of variance? It's going to end up being one of two things, I'll guarantee you. Either I'm going to look like a goofus, or I'm going to blame Microsoft Project. Say, well, I think it's a bug in the software. But you know, that isn't what's really going on here. This is why I recommend never, ever delete baseline tasks. If you have unneeded tasks in your project that are baselined, always use one of the two processes that I demonstrated earlier in this video. You'll be a lot happier in the process. So there you have it. If you like this channel, I hope you'll subscribe. And if you do, be sure and click the notification button so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. If you do have questions or comments, please add them in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.